So in this video, I want to talk about secundal chords. Secundal chords. Um, and those are chords that are stacked in seconds that look like this. Okay, traditionally, we've seen tertian triads that are stacked in thirds like this. One, two, three from the first note to the second note. And then one, two, three from the middle note to the top note. Okay, but in this case, in this uh, video, we're talking about secundal chords. So we're going to talk about uh, ones that are built in seconds. Uh, one to two and then one, two here from the first note to the second note and the second note to the third note. Okay, so in labeling these, I want to talk about four different varieties, just like we had in tertian. And we're going to use the tertian logic, the tertian chord logic that we already figured out uh, to make some secundal chords. Okay, so if you remember from tertian, uh, we had three notes, maybe like uh, this. And from the first note to the second note, we could either have a major third or a minor third. From the middle note to the top note, we could either have a major third or a minor third. Okay, so using that logic, we saw that like an F major, if we're in treble clef, uh, we have F major. And we had major third followed by a minor third, and that gave us F major, simply F major. If we switch those and do a minor third on the bottom, minor third followed by a major third, this will give us F minor, F minor, because now we put an A flat there to get the minor third and then a major third. Okay, and then uh, we also saw that if you were to put a flat on both notes and make them both minor thirds between them, uh, that would give you F diminished with the degree sign. And then finally, we had uh, F, A, and C sharp, which was a major third followed by a major third. And that gave us F augmented. Okay, so we're going to use this logic between uh, getting different kinds of tertian triads to go find uh, secundal triads. Okay, so I'll move down here and we'll use the same logic. Okay, so let's go ahead and stay in F for, we'll put our treble clef there. We're going to, or let me give me, give myself a little bit more room here. Okay, so we got F here. Uh, and we're going to use the same logic, but instead of using uh, major thirds and, ma and minor thirds, we're going to use major seconds and minor seconds. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to stack our chord just like this. And you usually don't want to stack your chord like this. This is this makes your snowman too squished and it's hard to see all your notes. So you want to make sure you offset like this. Okay, not necessarily super huge because they are the same chord, but just a little bit where you know that it's a, uh, at least visible. Okay, uh, so let's continue. Um, here you are talking about a major second followed by a minor second. The major second is good. F to G is a mi major second. And then a minor second would need an A flat. Okay, so using this logic, major than minor, major than minor, we can call this F major. Now, please be aware, this is secundal, secundal, secundally speaking, if you will, secundal. Uh, and for the rest of these chords, we're going to assume we're in secundal. Okay, so uh, by default, if you're trying to communicate this to someone, please be aware that they are, by default, thinking of uh, tertian. You have to make sure that you're talking about secundal and your audience and everyone that you're showing this to knows that you're in secundal when talking about this kind of notation. Okay, so let's keep moving on. Um, if you want to hear this uh, this uh, chord, uh, it sounds like this. You simply take F, G, and A flat and play them together. Now this sounds very minor because uh, the first or those three notes are the first three notes of the F minor scale. So even though it's a, it may be a major chord by the logic that we found here, it still sounds like it's out of the minor scale. So keep that in mind, okay? Let's move on to the next chord. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use salmon. And we're going to make a ma uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna make a minor second first. Uh, let me give myself a little more room. Minor second, which would need a G flat here. And then a major second, which is gonna need an A flat on top, okay? This one would be, by this logic, this would be F minor, secundally speaking, okay? Uh, we put all the notes here. Okay, and that would be F minor, F major again. And then F minor. Okay, so slightly different, slightly different. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one we're gonna do is gonna use a minor second followed by a minor second. Okay, it's gonna be F, G flat, to make a minor second and then a double flat a double flat okay and this would be f diminished in the secundal sense okay so again uh it sounds like this okay uh and this sounds really weird uh it sounds very diminished if you will because because it's actually pulling uh 
three notes in a row. Uh, it's basically these three notes, F, F sharp, and G, and harmonically speaking. They're right next to each other, so it sounds very, very chaotic. It sounds really good for a um, dominant or for a diminished function. So uh, I really recommend using this if you need a lot of chaos in your music. Um, and the last one we want to talk about, let me get a good color here, is going to be F augmented, secundal uh, augmented. Okay, We're going to use a major second followed by, oops, there, and then followed by another major second. Okay, And it looks like this. You don't have to change anything. F to G is a major second. G to A is a major second. And this would be your technically F augmented. Now, if you don't like F augmented here, which sounds like this, you might like this one because it's the first three notes of the major scale. Okay, so that's really nice. Uh, so you might like this uh, this chord a lot more. Um, so these are secundal chords, and in, and more um, precisely, they are secundal triads because they are made of three notes. They're secundally stacked, meaning they're in they're, uh, they're in seconds. If you wanted to keep going, you could keep stacking in seconds, of course. Uh, but we we won't see that right now. Um, and with uh, tertian, this logic is used to find out uh, kind of the rest of the, the world. We can just make it up as we go, uh, and it kind of logically falls in suit. Okay? In the next video, we will see how these chords relate to one another um, over a major scale. Okay? See you then.